name. What do you want to do tonight? Same thing we do every night, Pinky. Try to take over the world. This is Justin from You Are Creators, and in this segment, I'm going to explain one very important universal law that seems to be connected to every facet of life on Earth. I hope you enjoy. Everything in the universe operates on a set of universal laws or principles. These laws can't be broken, and they're always in effect, no matter where you are. Some of these laws are physical, while others are quantum or spiritual laws that involve intangible properties. The more scientists study the world on a quantum level, the more they are convinced of intelligent design. Albert Einstein once said, Everyone who is seriously involved in the pursuit of science becomes convinced that a spirit is manifest in the laws of the universe. The spiritual laws are just as reliable as the physical laws, and they also affect every aspect of life on Earth. Ancient mystics and philosophers have known and talked about these spiritual laws for thousands of years, but the majority of people are still uninformed. In this segment, I am going to teach you how to use only one of these spiritual laws in order to create and shape your personal world. What I'm about to teach you has the potential to change your life. If you master this one principle, you can literally manifest anything in the physical world. This information is so simple and so easy to use that most adults will be turned off by its simplicity. For some odd reason, humans will value anything complicated and totally disregard anything made simple. Author and speaker William Golding once said, the greatest ideas are the simplest, and that's so true. There are many universal laws, but the one I will be talking about is the law of reaping and sowing. This universal law states, whatever you plant in your mind, you will eventually manifest in the outside world. It's just like planting an apple tree. You first gather rich, fertile soil. You choose which apple seed you would like to plant. You give it ample amounts of water and sunlight. And when the time is right and the season is set, that seed has to sprout into a mighty apple tree. The same goes with your life, except the soil is your mind. The seeds are your thoughts, the water is your actions, and the sun is your feelings. One thing I can guarantee, if you plant any idea in your mind and feel as if it's already yours and work steadily towards it, it has to manifest. It has no choice because it's a law. But then you say, Justin, if that's the case, then why is it that most people don't get what they want in life? And it's simple. Most people don't get what they want because they are trained to focus and think about the things they don't want. You might have heard the expression Energy flows where attention goes. Whatever you focus on expands. It's true. Everything is energy. And all energy attracts similar energy. You can't put out negative energy and expect positive results. You can't plant apple seeds and expect oranges. Likewise, 
you can't dwell on failure and produce a successful result. If you are constantly thinking about the things you don't want to happen or the things you fear, you are planting that seed. And based on the universal law of reaping and sowing, it must germinate. The mind or human consciousness seems to be literally connected to the fabric of reality. Think about something long enough and strong enough, and it has no choice but to eventually appear. Quantum physics gives credence to this idea. Time and time again, the double slit experiment has proved that a conscious observer is literally creating reality. There are six words that I want you to memorize and stamp on your heart. These words will remind you to straighten up and think right. These words are, you become what you think about. You become what you think about. The reason why I am confident in telling you this is because this information completely transformed my life. Someone sat me down and told me the exact words I'm telling you. When I realized that my mind was a garden, I began to plant only the things that I wanted. I was informed that the most important thing was that I knew exactly what I wanted. So I began to write down all the things I desired. One by one, I began to imagine my dream life. I wrote down exactly what I wanted in crystal clear detail. Mind you, when I first set out to create this list, I had no money. I was living in a two bedroom, one bath apartment with my wife and two children, surrounded by debt and late bills. I was working a job that I hated serving tables at a restaurant. But I knew if I could successfully plant these ideas in my mind, they will have to manifest. So every day, I would look at my goal list and visualize my life going according to that list. I would say affirmations that complemented each goal. I drummed each idea into my head. I would imagine what it would feel like to have each goal accomplished. I visualized my goal so much that at times it was hard to tell what was real and what was imaginary. I lived into my imagination. My mindset changed and before I knew it, things started happening around me. I started attracting the people, opportunities and ideas that helped me accomplish the goals that I set out. Here is the actual list of my goals. And here are the things I manifested. Some of these goals took two months to manifest while others took two years. See, one thing that we have to remember is that things manifest in divine timing. There are different seasons and cycles to life. There is a season for sowing and there is also a season for reaping. You can't rush the process. What I discovered was the process actually helps you to develop the skills that will manifest your future goals. You actually evolve as a person while going through the process. You're pushed to do things that you never thought you could do. Once your goals get embedded into your subconscious mind, you feel almost compelled to take action. Thoughts always precedes action and no goal is ever manifested 
without action. Since your mind is a garden, weeds tend to sprout up from time to time. The weeds are your negative thoughts, thoughts of failure, thoughts of doubt. But unlike your apple trees, weeds sprout up automatically. See, since we live in a world that is obsessed with drama and negative energy, we tend to subconsciously pick up on these negative vibrations. So every morning, tend to your garden. Pluck up any thoughts that don't serve you. Find the weeds and dig them up by the root. Remember, a successful gardener always cultivates their land. Cultivate your mind for success, happiness, prosperity, kindness, forgiveness, love, opulence, understanding, gratitude, abundance, and watch those seeds sprout and manifest in your life. Life is a constant reaping and sowing. What you give, you receive. The energy you put out is what you get back. How you treat others is how you'll eventually be treated. What you say about others will be said about you. As Florence Scovelshin would say, the game of life is the game of boomerangs. Our thoughts, deeds, and words return to us sooner or later with astounding accuracy. If you master this simple law, you will be able to create happiness in all areas of your life. One thing that you have to remember, your thoughts are seeds and your mind is fertile land. The mind doesn't care what you plant in it. It will always yield results. You can plant vegetables or you can plant weeds. You can plant wealth or you can plant poverty. You can plant misery or you can plant happiness. It's all up to you because you are always reaping what you sow. This is Justin from You Are Creators and we support your dreams.